Okay, so the next one is check padrome. So we're given a string and we need to check to see if it will read the same forwards as it will backwards. So first up, we would um, split the string up into its individual characters and we have split. So we're inputting a string and then we want to, oh, and we want to split it uh, every individual character. So we'll just use the quotes for that. We just return X. So there we go. We're putting in the string, we're splitting out every character, and then we're outputting an array. Now we want to reverse that array. So if we do const Y is equal to X, because that's what we want to reverse. And run the tests. You can't really see the difference here because um, the output is true. But if we find one which is meant to be false, um, which one is false? Come on, there we go. So we're given three Zs, A, ZZ, A, ZZ. And now instead of it just reading three Zs, it's ZZ, A, ZZ, A, ZZ, Z. So it's reversed that array. And then the next thing we'd want to do is, because we can't just compare that array to the string, we need to um, join that array together into um, create a string. And we would do that with join. So let's just do return Z and then we'll do const uh, Z is equal to Y join. And then because we want to join each individual value, we would just do uh, single quotes and that will do it at every value is now joined together. So instead of it outputting an array, it's now outputting a string. And now if we compare um, that reversed string to the input string and return that, we will get our results. And it's um, passed. But we can um, sim we can clean this code up a lot more, <laughs> and we could turn it into a one liner. So if we first of all we're splitting it, so input string split, great. And now we want to reverse that. So now that's reversed. Next we would want to join them together. So. We're inputting our string, we're splitting it, so it's now an array. We're reversing that array, and now we're joining that reversed array together. And now we want to compare that string that we've just created to the original. And we would want to return all this. And we get the same result. 